Welcome to the spook. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the spook. I'm William DeWiggins, and I'll be telling you about the story of the Bunny Man Bridge. The Bunny Man Bridge is a bridge in Fairfax County, Virginia, around Colchester Overpass. The story typically involves a man in a bunny suit, or the ghost of a man in a bunny suit, that haunts this area of land around the Southern Railway Overpass near Clifton, Virginia. The first incident was reported October 19, 1970, by U.S. Air Force Academy cadet Robert Bennett and his fiancée, who were visiting relatives on the road. Around midnight, while returning from a football game, they parked their car in a field near the road to, quote, visit an uncle who lived across the street. As they sat in their car, they noticed someone moving around the window. Moments later, the front passenger window was smashed, and there was a person in white standing near the window. Bennett turned the car around while the man screamed at them about trespassing, including, you're on private property, and I have your tag number. As they drove down the road, the couple discovered a hatchet on the car floor. When the police requested a description of the man, Bennett insisted he was wearing a white suit with long bunny ears. However, his fiancée thought that he may have not had bunny ears on his head, but may have been wearing a white hood of some sort instead. They both remember seeing his face clearly, but in the darkness they couldn't say exactly. The second reported sighting occurred on the evening of October 29, 1970, exactly 10 days after this incident. When a construction security guard approached a man on the porch of an unfinished home, the security guard said the man was wearing a gray, black, and white bunny costume and was about 20 years old. As he approached, the man began chopping at the porch post with an axe, saying, You are trespassing. If you come any closer, I'll chop off your head. The Fairfax County Police opened investigations into both incidents, but they closed for lack of evidence. In the weeks following these incidents, more than 50 people contacted the police claiming to have seen this bunny man. This legend has circulated for years in several forms, but in the 1990s, a version naming a suspect in a specific location was published. This version states that an asylum prison in Clifton, Virginia was shut down. During the transfer of inmates to a new facility, one of the 15 transports crashed. Most, including the driver, were killed, but 10 inmates escaped. A search party found all but one of them. During this time, the locals allegedly began to find hundreds of cleanly skinned, half-eaten carcasses of rabbits hanging from nearby trees in the surrounding area. Another search of the area was ordered, and the police located the remains of Marcus Walster, left in a similar fashion to the rabbit carcasses, hanging in a tree under a bridge overpass, also known as the Bunny Man Bridge, along the railroad tracks at Colchester Road. Officials named the last missing inmate Douglas Griffin as their suspect and called him the Bunny Man. In this version, officials finally located Griffin, but during their attempt to apprehend him at the overpass, he nearly escaped before being hit by an oncoming train where the original transport crashed. Supposedly, after the train passed, the police heard laughter. It was eventually revealed that Griffin had been institutionalized for killing his family on Easter Sunday. For years after the bunny man's death, in the time approaching Halloween, carcasses have been found hanging from the overpass and trees of the surrounding area. A figure has been reportedly seen by pedestrians making their way through the one-lane bridge tunnel. But according to a police detective, this version is false. Along other inconsistencies, he notes that there has never been an asylum for the insane in Fairfax County, and that the prison there didn't even come into existence until 1910 when it was an arm of the District of Columbia Correction System, not Virginia's. Moreover, the court records show neither a Griffin or a Walster. Because of its association with the legend, Colchester Overpass is a popular destination for paranormal enthusiasts, ghost hunters, and curiosity seekers. Interest increases around Halloween, and starting in 2003, local authorities began controlling access to the area during that time. During Halloween 2011, over 200 people were turned away during a 14-hour traffic checkpoint to the area. In Fairfax County, Virginia, it is illegal to trespass on posted railroad tracks and to loiter in a public roadway. As such, no thorough investigations can be done around the myth of bunny carcasses showing up at Halloween or the man haunting this railroad. The truth of this legend is left all up for us to interpret. Does the bunny man exist? 
Was he the man that attacked Robert Bennett and his fiancée in 1970? Is he skinning bunnies and leaving them hanging from the Colchester overpass? Because we can't investigate further, it all remains in this scary, spooky story that people love to bring up around Halloween. What do you think? Stay spooky and watch out for bunnies. I've been William DeWiggins, and this was the story of the Bunny Man Bridge. We hope that you have enjoyed this episode. Please remember.